Good morning, prayer partners. Yes, we will have another snack for this Bible plan. I love to mix plain potato chips with popcorn, especially caramel and cheddar. It's kind of like those tins you get at the end of the year for Christmas, and it has the three different types of popcorn in it. Well, I just put the potato chips, and I love Cape Cod because it's 40% less fat with um, nothing extra added, three ingredients. I also love uh, Smart Foods brand of their caramel and cheddar mix. Um, it's good. A thumbs up on that. So I'm just pouring them into a bowl I have in the house. And I'll just take it and I'll shake it up. Then I'll just take my hand, stir it up to make sure it has a nice little blend. Simple, easy snack. Mmm, it's eat a chip. <laughs> I'm grateful for this snack, and we'll get right into our Bible plan. Good morning, prayer partners. Okay, yes, that's been three snacks, and we're still on God hunger. However, let's eat. <laughs> enjoy yourself i am so thankful god has healed my eye for those of you who did um see um i think it was october the 16th uh, tea time i scratched my eye and it healed up and i started wearing my glasses which the prescription probably was six or seven years old i'm gonna just keep it real i just sometimes don't go to the ophthalmologist like I should but I went to see Dr. Lewis at uh, Target on Segan Lane and she did an excellent job such awesome um, customer service and professionalism and so my left eye has a very bad stigmatism and she was able to get me right this I was like it's literally almost where it's just, everything is just a blur. But once she got the prescription right, had it right on that left eye, oh, I'm back in business. I see things clearly. And I also just wanna give God a shout out for these beautiful sunflowers that when I bought them, they were all kind of droopy and kind of smashed. And so I just put some water, put the food in, and they're just saying, hello to Jesus. They're just worshiping in my kitchen, hallelujah. They're saying, God, you're good and I feel blessed. That's what my sunflowers are saying. Yes, yeah, sunflowers talk. You didn't know that? Learn. Amen. Anyway, so let's get into our Bible plan this Monday morning. We're grateful God brought us through another weekend. A deeper sense of thankfulness. The spirit of gratitude and thankfulness is surely one of the great keys of the kingdom. The beginning of man's rebellion against God was the lack of a thankful heart. Do we genuinely desire and long for God or for the other things? The truth of the matter is, if we are not content and grateful for what we have and who we are, then we are not loving God as we should. As Francis Schaeffer put it, we are coveting against God. A thankless spirit wants things now rather than being impatient. We need to learn to love the journey we are on more than the point of arrival. Yes, God, say that for me. To learn to embrace trust rather than control come on jesus speak there is a supernatural power in expressing our thanksgiving to god that brings divine multiplication hello he's about to multiply for somebody today murmuring and moaning put our focus on lack thanksgiving is the aware of abundance and it didn't say awareness, it said aware. Each day we have is a gift, not a right. Our attitude towards life, 
towards our God will determine the quality mm, of the soil of our life and whether God can plant seeds there that will lead to an abundant harvest of blessings. It's like they wrote the Bible plan and then God just be like, Paula, get some sunflowers and put blessed up. And then just he just be coordinating and confirming in these lessons. I just love how you do that thing. Ha <laughs> ha. We can choose unbelief, murmuring, and complaining against God, which leads to anger and anxiety. So okay. So so we're clear. Let's make sure we catch that lesson real fast. Unbelief, murmuring, and complaining against God leads to anger and anxiety. You will cut that out. You won't have anger and anxiety. I'm just saying. Let's just put that out there. Or we can choose thankfulness, which leads to peace and rest. Peace and rest. Anybody want that? No? Anyone? Anyone? So thankfulness, peace and rest. Unbelief, murmuring, and complaining. Anger and anxiety. I'll take the peace and rest for 200 Alex. Entitlement breeds envy, greed, and restlessness. Gratitude waters the garden of our heart with wonder, joy, and faith. Grass is not greener next door. Come on, somebody. It's greener where we water it. Let us unwrap the gift of today like with childlike humility and awe that God's gift deserves. Thankfulness results in a willingness to surrender to God's will for our lives because we trust him to be who he says he is for us. The perfect father. If we want to two good indications of how much we are really trusting God, we should pay attention to our levels of anxiety and anger when things don't go our way and to the steadiness of our stream of thanksgiving whatever the circumstances hmm. so we got to pay attention to the anxiety and by paying attention to the anxiety are we getting our way are we not getting our way is, is God listening to us? Is God paying attention to what I want? Is it a me, me, me? Am I murmuring and complaining? Or am I thankful? I thank God for, right now I'm currently in a season of Thanksgiving where I am being grateful every single day um, for a particular person in my life. And it's opening my eyes to how often I don't thank God for the people in my life. And so then when they're gone, we miss them. When they're no longer here, you don't have them. And you didn't, you didn't take the chance to show them more love. So this life, this blessed life, this life where we get to smell some sunflowers and light candles and eat well, that we've been blessed with, where there's people who don't have that same um, opportunity, don't have that same financial security, and we have it. These contacts for $2,400, but I can afford it. Praise the Lord, life and joy. But what if I couldn't? If I'm just walking around blind, some of us are. We're blinded to what anger and anxiety is doing to us. Mm. Let's, let's get into the prayer. You know we got to get the scripture. If you have an extra phone or a computer where you can pause the video and go to Psalms 95 verses 1 through 7, the Amplified Bible, read the prayer with me. I think that reading it together connects us and joins us. And this is one of my favorite songs, too. So let's get into it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the joy that Thanksgiving gives. We thank you for the wonder that Thanksgiving gives. We thank you for the peace and rest that gratitude and Thanksgiving gives. 
Oh, come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with a song of thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods, in whose hand are the depths of the earth, the peaks of the mountains are his also, the sea is his, for he made it by his command, and his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. That part right there. Mm, I love that part. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Humble ourselves. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, in reverent praise and prayer, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, mm, today we hear your voice, and it's telling us to be thankful. Lord, I thank you for every prayer partner, every family member, every enemy, every co-worker from the time I was born, <laughs> every person I've met. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the beautiful sunflowers that are praising you this morning. Thank you for the ability to afford food. Thank you for the ability to eat food and digest properly. Thank you for the health I have. Thank you for the body and the mind and the eyes. Thank you for the stigmatism that I take more appreciation in thanking you for my eyes that they are able to see through the contact lens when some cannot. No lens will ever help them see the level I can see right now. So God, I don't take it for granted. I thank you for being able to taste and smell my cinnamon candle and my, um, what is this one? Mulled cedar. <laughs> For hands that can hold a computer and for um, the ability to read these words on the screen. I thank you for the phone that records and the electricity in my home. For the real flowers and the fake ones. Thank you God for the ability of my limbs today and thank you God for I'm sorry, how great you are. Blessings and keep us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day, prayer partners, and as always, enjoy Jesus. <laughs>